Just like iron sharpens iron, making me stronger, calling me higher. When we come together, just like iron sharpens iron. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name's Amanda. I'm glad you're here. So today is Monday, which means I have my reset. Um, the table was terrible. Like I said, it's a hot spot. It happens. We got it cleaned up and the living room needed a good cleaning, but everything else was pretty much taken care of. Um, I did have to put a couple pair of shoes up on the rack that were left on the ground, but that's okay. We got it done. Um, and everything else was taken care of, so it was just a quick tidy up. Um, I thank you guys so, so much for being here. If you haven't already and you like the content, then please subscribe. Stick around. I like to share um, cleaning motivation. Most of all, I like to be an encouragement. Um, I try to share a devotion in every video. Um, I share a little bit of like vlog, day in the life videos, and cooking videos, what's for dinner videos, uh, grocery hauls, things like that. So I'd love to have you stick around. If you're not subscribed, please like, comment, subscribe, all those things. I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It's a blessing. It means more than you know. I love you guys and I'm thankful for you. Hopefully you are encouraged and yeah, we will get to uh, resetting this house. So y'all, we've come to the part of the video where I like to share the devotion from the Devotions from the Front Porch by Stacy Edwards. And the title of today's devotion is Guarding Your Garden. And the verse is from Proverbs 4, 23. And it reads, At first, it's all fun and games as you walk through the garden center to pick out the perfect plants before lovingly placing them into the ground. Visions of fresh strawberries and tomatoes dance in your head as you parade through your garden with your brand new watering can and post pictures on social media. It's easy to be diligent when spring breezes are blowing and everything is fresh and new, but there comes a point when gardening is no longer the enjoyment it once was. The sun beats down and the bees buzz. It's time for the hard work of ensuring that your garden isn't overrun by pests and devoured by critters. It's easy to become a little less enthusiastic and diligent until one morning you awake to find that a rabbit has helped itself to all your tomato plants. It's then you realize that you didn't properly guard your garden. Sometimes we guard our hearts like an amateur gardener. We're diligent for a while, spending time in the Word and posting our favorite Bible verses on our social media accounts. We're quick to share the latest and greatest things and hashtag it blessed. Eventually, however, guarding our hearts becomes real work. The enemy attempts to distract us with shiny things. Friends don't share our convictions and frictions develop. As we are bombarded with ungodly messages and negativity, self-discipline becomes difficult. All of these things seek to draw our hearts away from God. Our lives reflect the condition of our hearts. If our hearts aren't fed and watered daily with the word of God and prayer, we may just awaken to find that the enemy has helped himself to the fruits of our joy and peace. Lord, give me wisdom regarding what I do and do not allow to enter my heart. Help me to diligently maintain my relationship with you may the fruit of my life be proof that my heart belongs to you and that verse from proverbs 4 and 23 it reads keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life and that is uh, it's just such a true devotion like there's always always things going on or things trying to take our attention and it's easy to get caught up in the things of the world and whatever new things happening, whatever's going on, to be so busy and caught up with that, that our time spent with the Lord suffers. And when that happens, that is a perfect opportunity for the enemy to kind of step in there. So I just pray that as, as I go day by day that I can remember to be in God's Word and just meditate on it and let the Spirit guide me and wear the fruit of wear his armor and bear the fruit of his spirit so i hope that encouraged y'all as much as it encouraged me so guys i was also going to tell y'all if you've been here for a while then you know that um my table here that jamie my husband built it for me made out of cedar um and i'm excited because let's see it i've had that table hmm, um, 
probably five years at least, if not longer. And um, he's we've refinished it. Well, he's refinished it a couple of times, but it's in desperate need of it. Um, it's got like some marker on it and some spots. So he is actually planning the next time we have about four, four or five days of good, you know, without rain and all that to sand it down and then we're going to find some stuff to uh, condition it with so i am really excited about that it's needed it for a while but yeah um he there's no way to that he does it because the cedar you know the dust from it really bothers my allergies so i can't i can't be out there when he's doing that so but yeah i am excited so y'all stay tuned um i'll definitely show you before and after of that Y'all, I know y'all see me constantly looking to the left as I'm doing the dishes. It's because um, I've got a phone over there that I'm watching as I'm doing the di dishes. And right now I'm on a 7th Heaven kick. So I was right when I was younger, we watched that show, you know, from the first season to the last. So, um, and they do have the first three seasons for free on YouTube. So that is what I've been watching while I'm doing dishes or whatever in the kitchen. So that's why I'm constantly looking over that way because I'm watching it. So y'all let me know if y'all have ever watched it. Um, if you did, what'd you think of it? We always enjoyed it. Um, we watched it, like I said, when I was younger, me, my mom, my sister. So it was one of our favorites. <music> Goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots thinking it will matter. Keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need a Time is not on my mind, but then it's here. Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up And it feels like I'm lying every time Someone ask how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up
so y'all that's going to be it for today's video again thank you thank you thank you so much i can't thank you enough for watching i appreciate each and every one of you thank you for being here i hope that you were encouraged by the video i hope you have a blessed and wonderful week and lord willing we will see y'all on the next one be blessed Baby, let me love you.